If you ever wanted to sample a kick from any song, regardless of how many instruments are playing over it, and without losing all the best attributes of that kick, this free plugin I'm about to show you is the way to go. Drum Clone by Rare DSP is a free plugin and is currently in beta mode, but the quality is insane. We're going to extract four kicks from four different songs, two songs by well-known artists and two songs originals of mine. The reason I'm doing original examples is because I know exactly what kick sample I used in them and we can compare the original sample against the extracted one. To start, we select an audio file and we're gonna go for Asterix Deep Jungle Walk, kick part. I already extracted a section which has the kick closer so we don't have to search for it that much. Uh, you can see the kick already in this section. So we're gonna grab the bottom part of this selection tool, move it over to the kick. We're gonna extend it a bit. So if I extend this, you can hear the original section, right? Now that you know how the song sounds like and it has a bunch of instruments on top, we're gonna isolate the kick. If I extend it, we will get a little bit of the bass too. Down here, we can enable noise and tonality for the extracted part. Now all I have to do to use this sample is drag and drop onto my project and we have a side trance kick from Deep Jungle Walk by Asterix. For our second song, let's go for Supersonic by Skrillex. We want the second kick. That's the snare. There's the kick. This kick has some rumble too, so we want to grab that. So I can extract one version longer with the rumble, like so. And one version shorter. Like so. If you're in studio monitors or headphones, you can hear how great the quality is. Let's do this one. This recover envelope has a big effect on how it sounds. Alright, I think it's eliminating a little bit of the hi-hat from the original kick. Because the original kick I actually sampled manually from Mi Porto Bonito by Bad Bunny. And you can hear there is a hi-hat on top. Let's uh, compare the waveforms. It's very similar, but it's missing the high-end information that you can see highlighted with a blue-ish color. It's extracted the main body and attack of the kick, and especially the low-end and mid-range information, but not the top-end information. Let's try a rap beat and see how it goes. Okay, so based on the experiments, I can say that it does a good job, not a perfect job, and it does lack in extracting high-end information, which is kind of essential for certain genres and certain kicks. However, for a free plugin, it's still a very good tool to have. If you found this video useful, please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.